Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to Free America. It is a stunningly beautiful late November morning um, here on the farm. Weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, and I thought I would head out into the woods for a few minutes and uh, try out a piece of gear that I've had laying around, well not laying around, that I've been carrying around um, as a backup for for quite some time now. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the birds. So there's a blue jay and there's a uh, red-tailed hawk that has got all the birds worked up the blue jays you can hear them i thought i was coming out here for peace and quiet <laughs> well i'm gonna walk into the woods Well, I guess I'm not going to cross over the creek right here. It's a little bit high. We've had some uh, some rain, um, kind of a winter storm, a little sleet mix. I'll have to go find a place nearby and set up this little as the stove. Okay, well, I guess this will have to do. Um, what I wanted to show you. So first of all, this pouch, I think uh, most of you are probably familiar with, with what this pouch is. Um, this is a pouch for the M18A1 uh, Claymore Anti-Person Online. The cool thing about it is uh, it has two big pockets. So my water, uh, breakfast. But what I really wanted to show you was I've got this piece of equipment here that I've been carrying around for a long time. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's an Esbit stove. So as you can tell by the packaging and the wearing on it, that uh, this one's been around for quite a while. And I've never, uh, I've never tried it out, so I'm go ahead and open it up for the first time. Let's 
because this is not this is not the one that has the bonus wear markings on it. This one was the one that they uh, sold in surplus stores. And of course you can open it two ways. You can either open it halfway like this or all the way like this. And yeah, it's got a little bit of rust in the bottom. Of course it's probably 30 years old. Whew, this shit stinks. Um, these are the dry fuel tablets. So, let me put this thing on the ground and see if we can boil some water. I wonder if they're still good after all this time. We will find out. Now, I have my trusty dusty canteen cup. I guess we can make this a canteen cup Sunday, right? So, I've been carrying this around as a as a backup, right? I've been carrying it around for years. Uh oh. There we go. It's not going to work, is it? Hmm. Let's see if it's too hot to handle. Nope, it's not too hot to handle. Let me close it. I've got with me is the uh, same old, same old ramen I think everybody probably uses when they're out in the woods. But I also have this um, packet of nori, which is uh, seaweed. So what I like to do is crunch it up. That's seaweed. Gives you some flavor. Chicken flavor. Now, let's get 
get this puppy boiling. more tabs. Tabs look like they're burning out pretty quick. Let's see how that does. Oh yeah, baby. On a channel like this, I think it's probably not necessary to uh, talk about Esbit stoves that much. Um, but if you're unfamiliar with Esbit stoves, what they are essentially is a, uh, a tiny little folding steel stove that um, was used by the German military um, prior to the Second World War and, and passed, right? So uh, when I was a kid and uh, lived in Germany, you couldn't have... You couldn't go out and make open fires on the ground, but you could use an esbit stove. So, and these things, you could buy these things. Um, shit, you could buy original World War II used ones for a couple of bucks, and and a pack of uh, you know esbit uh, fuel to go with them. It was uh, easy and convenient, and you know there's a lot. I guess newer, better uh, stuff out there, but when it comes right down to it, if you're if you need to count on this thing to to cook your food um, while you're on the go, this is a great choice. So again, let me show you what this looks like, right? So this is an old packet, but but they still make the very same thing. Right, this one says made in Germany um, it's really really simple as you can see it works So, it's getting hot, but it's not entirely there yet. And my fuel is gone. So, not great. It's probably gone through easily um, three of these. And I, and I still haven't gotten a full boil. Noodles are still a little bit tough. See, heating up pretty good.
but not perfectly. I just gotta give it a little flavor. We're getting there. All right, so <clears throat> that's done. Now it took me about three tabs of fuel um, to heat this water up enough um, for the noodles to be soft enough to eat. Right. It took a little while. I didn't time it, but it wasn't it wasn't great. I um, like I said, I carry this Esbit stove as a backup, so probably wouldn't want to carry it as a primary, right? Um, I don't know. I, you probably maybe you could. If you had to go for lightweight, um, but I prefer either a, an actual campfire or uh, you know a, a propane stove, a Coleman stove, something along those lines. So I'm gonna eat my ramen and feel good um, about testing out my backup. It's a good piece of gear, so <clears throat> I recommend trying it out. They're dirt cheap, they really are. Um, they're not hard to maintain, so this is the first time I've used this little stove, and let me show you. It's already cooled off, right? It's got some burn marks on the bottom. You know where where the tabs burned, um, but no worse for wear. I'll wipe it out and um, wipe it down with some Ballistol oil or maybe even WD-40. I just don't like, like don't like the taste of WD-40 in my food. Um, <clears throat> and I'll probably you know vacuum pack it or something with the with the tabs back or the fuel tabs with it and put it back in my backup it's not a bad piece of gear guys um, speaking of gear let me show you this so this is a a canteen cup everybody's familiar with canteen cups right these the world war ii style canteen cups have this style of uh handle on them i prefer these over this over the modern military ones um so what are the differences right the differences are the World War II cups are aluminum and the handles are steel. So the modern cups that have the two folding handles that fold around the sides, they're stainless steel. So they're a little easier to maintain. Um, I will tell you that this cup is getting a little bit burnt on the bottom here. And it takes a little bit more effort to clean it out on the inside than on the, uh, the stainless steel ones, but I still prefer it. Um, for those of you who noticed or, or you know, give a shit about camouflage patterns, um, this is my this is a German Army Fleck Tarn um, camo shirt, right? It's got the little German Army flag on it. This one has my um, uh, my equivalent Bundeswehr Anschlaufen uh, rank epaulets, right? So Oberfeldwebel, you can call me Oberfeldwebel, but just stand at attention when you do so. <laughs> All right, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful November morning here in Free America, 
and I'm so glad that I had this opportunity to get out here and do this a little peace and quiet except for the Blue Jays <laughs> thanks for joining me um, God bless America and I hope you come back to free America whenever you get a chance you know Make your own little free America, make your own little free Canada, free Germany, you know, free UK, wherever you are. Uh, when you can get out into a peaceful place and, and get your mind right, you're free. And I want to encourage you to do that. So, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up. If you think this video sucks, give me a thumbs down. Or send it to somebody you hate and maybe they'll give me a thumbs up. So, um subscribe if you care about this kind of crap i really look forward to your comments so i hope to get some and <laughs> um let me see right now i think i'm somewhere around 580 when it comes to subscribers honestly guys i don't do this for numbers of subscribers i don't do this for uh, to make money i don't make any money right I do this because it's an artistic outlet. Um, I do this because this, these are the things that interest me, and I know there are other people out there that are interested in, in these things as well. So, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for joining me. God bless America. Have a great day.